first, the fortune tellers who are taking you for a ride. They claim to be psychic, but really they're just fraudsters, handing out unethical advice on a whole range of subjects to people desperate to believe. Be very wary of, uh, of psychics. Well, I'm one of the best teachers you'll find, Mr. Dalmas, now this is my teacher. There are frauds in every industry. Tonight, we go undercover to reveal the hidden dangers of believing some psychics. You've used a few people, especially men, truck drivers, short and little skirt. Get away with I did feel uncomfortable and I did want to get out of there. The outrageous claims... Chappelle Corby and all that. Mm. Well, something similar is going to happen to you. The unethical advice. You will win the case, right? I don't think that people should give medical advice. Uh, they, that should be left to a doctor. Legal advice should be left to a lawyer. And the overwhelming inaccuracies of their readings. A sister. Both face to face. You don't have a sister. Have you ever spoken to your mum about whether she's had a miscarriage? My mum hasn't had a miscarriage. And over the phone. Uh, my name's Kate. Uh, I was wanting to have a psychic reading. Some people lose thousands of dollars in doing that. Bob Bruce fronts the Australian Skeptics Association. She's just fishing. I mean, anybody could do that. Simon Turnbull, the Australian Psychics Association. No, it's not mumbo-jumbo. Polar opposites in their views. One thing both men do agree on is it's time to rid the psychic industry of fortune-telling frauds. They're sucking a person in and sort of uh, taking their money. Definitely don't go back there. We booked a current affair producer, Lisa, in to see a range of randomly selected psychics. While I tried my hand at a costly psychic reading over the phone. Just your date of birth. In both cases, we handed over the basics in personal information. <laughs> More on those inaccuracies shortly. And in this case, uh, it's all very general. The only people who will talk about psychics being rubbish and only guess, uh, guessing are sceptics. Simon Turnbull claims to have been honing his psychic ability for almost half a century. He also tells us members of the Psychic Association are all legitimate professionals who abide by a code of ethics. If you're not right with the reading you're giving to people, people will stop coming to you and the word will get out and no one will come to you in the end. Do you always get it right or do you sometimes make a mistake? Eighty percent, not hundred. Most of the psychics we visited were not members of the association. Your karma is in the past. You've used many people and they're coming back to get you. Not only did this woman claim Lisa had a murderous past life, but the spirit who was giving her all of this crazy information was in fact a dead superstar. So if I keep on the path I'm going, then Elvis and I will probably be together a bit down the track. She said that her and Elvis were going to be together when she crossed over. That's, that's pretty nonsensical. Right away I felt very uncomfortable, but then she started telling me that I was cursed and that I had bad karma. I'd say you definitely don't go back there. And don't recommend those people to, to your friends if you really care about them. Do you like the yellow sunflowers? My favourite. That's very good. While Lisa was impressed, this psychic got something right. She said, I love sunflowers, which I do. She said, my boyfriend has green eyes, which he does. The legal advice. You will win the case, right? And medical advice. You take sedatives. Not, not, not really at the moment. I try to avoid. Yeah. Are they sure? Yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. Are absolute breaches of the Psychic Association's Code of Ethics. It's a dangerous thing if they're going to suggest to you something which is just completely false. I would say you're producing to me. It's, it's as simple as that. As we have been speaking, my guardian, not just I alone, has begun to look at your life situation. Over the phone, my reading is costing me $3.65 a minute. And after being asked for nothing more than my birth date and first name, I can't even get a word in. The other, the other do you, thing... Do, do you agree, Kate? People who are vulnerable and desperate will um, do their dough. For Lisa, the next psychic didn't mind dishing out medical and legal advice either. And no surgery would be required. You wouldn't start a lawsuit for seven things.
cost you too much. Yeah. She also claimed Lisa has a sister. But she just kept going on about this sister that I don't have. And You've got a sister in spirit. It's almost like she's a twin or something. She's fishing for information all the time. People can make mistakes. No psychic is 100% accurate. Over 10 expensive minutes have passed and I'm still not getting anywhere with my phone reading. How would you describe that in your own words so we can get a grip on this once and for all? Uh, well, it's more and to Believe do... me when I say this, please let me finish, please. This is most important, Kate. While Lisa is now with a more conversational psychic, she's getting everything wrong. Have you got a sister? No, I don't have a sister. Who's coming by? Definitely not me. The psychics we visited charged between thirty and a hundred dollars for an hour. The average is around seventy-five to one hundred and twenty. More than fifteen minutes and ninety dollars later, I'm still no clearer about what my future holds. The moral of the story is, Kate, when we're flat, we don't serve our own purpose. Try and find a good psychic, and the best way to do it, ring the Australian Psychics Association, but there is another way. Ask their friends who have had successful readings with psychics and only go to those psychics. But there was no chance of getting my money back. Even hanging up on the pay-per-minute phone call wasn't easy. I think I'll leave it there for today, but thank you very much uh, for the conversation. I suggest you sleep on this in the most positive way. People can get uh, a, a lot of good out of uh, by facing up certain issues in their lives that they otherwise wouldn't look at. You've got to have some letters after your name before you should be allowed to mess with people's heads. And if you've had a bad experience with a psychic, we'd like to hear from you. Just send us an email or give us a call.